Hey guys, it's Mark from Hallmark Pool Supplies. In this video, I wanna to talk to you guys about backwashing your pool filter. What is backwashing? When do we backwash and how do we backwash? I'm gonna show you guys how we do this, but stay tuned, don't leave, because at the end of the video, I'm gonna also show you the easiest way to know when we have to backwash our pool. So typically, the average homeowner will backwash their pool about every seven to 10 days during the season. So how do we know when to backwash? You would come out here, you would look at your pressure gauge. Now manufacturers will tell you backwash your pool when the pressure gauge is six to eight pounds above normal operating pressure. What is normal operating pressure? Well, that depends on the system. It depends on how big your filter is, what size pump you have. So pressures can vary from one pool to another. But for this example, let's just say we're running 15 pounds of pressure and we come out and we see that the gauge is running 23 pounds. Well, at this point, we already know that we've exceeded and we definitely know it's time to backwash, so let's backwash. What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off the pump, we're gonna rotate the handle to a position called backwash. And we're gonna let the system run for about one minute. And what happens is in filter, all the water comes down and goes through the sand, it goes through the laterals and comes back up through the returns and goes back to the pool. So it's trapping all the dirt and debris and all the clean water goes back to the pool. But when we backwash, the water is actually now going through the pipe, coming through the laterals and it's coming up through the sand, flushing everything that's trapped in the sand out and it's going out your waistline. And so that's what we wanna do when we backwash. After we're done backwashing for about a minute, we're gonna turn off the pump and take the handle and rotate it clockwise to a position called rinse. And now we're gonna turn the filter on and we're gonna let it run for about 30 seconds. Now in rinse, what is happening is it's actually running just as it did in filter and it's going back through the sand, through the laterals, but instead of going back to the pool, it's going back out the waistline. So we're just rinsing out the sand after we've backwashed. And that's the way the water moves through the filter when we're rinsing. So when we're done rinsing, we're gonna turn off the pump. We're gonna rotate the handle to a position called filter. We're gonna turn it back on. And now we're gonna look at the gauge. And if the gauge went from, let's say 23 back down to 15, we're done. If the gauge went from 23 to 18, and remember for this video, I told you we were gonna be using 15 as a reference. Well, 18 is higher than 15, so what does that tell us? That tells us that the tank is still dirty, so what do we need to do? We're gonna backwash it again. So we're gonna turn off the system, we're gonna backwash for another minute, turn it off, we're gonna go back to rinse for another 30 seconds, turn it off, and then we're gonna go back to filter. I like to backwash and rinse back to back out of habit. It doesn't hurt to do it twice. It does give it a thorough cleaning. And when we're done, we see now that the pressure is back down to 15. We know we're good to go. Okay, so all gauges can vary even on the same system. They're not 100% accurate, but they're very close. And if we go from one pool to the next, they're definitely gonna vary, like I said before. But let's just say that your gauge is broken or you don't have a gauge. How are we gonna know when to backwash? Well, one good way and the easiest way, and I like to do this myself, is just look out the window at the pool. And when you see the jets, they're actually called returns, but the jets going into the pool and you see the pressure going into the pool is really good and strong. Then we know the system's good, we've got good pressure. That means your tank is clean and we're good to go. But when you look out the window and you see that the water in the, in the pool or the jets is moving very, very slow and weak, that's an indication that our tank is clogged up and needs to be backwashed and rinsed thoroughly because that is a visual reference and that is the easiest way to look out the window and say, hey, I need to backwash my pool. As a side note, it's important to remember when adding chemicals, we wanna make sure that the pressure and the tank is clean and everything is good before doing so. You don't wanna add chemicals and then come out here and backwash and rinse, especially in the same 24 hours. So if you need to backwash and rinse, do this first and then add chemicals. Now, for you guys that want a more in-depth 
tutorial on how to operate your filter. I did make a video, it's called Basic Filter Operation. I will post a link down below and it does cover uh, all of this and all the different positions a little bit more in depth. So check it out. If you guys have any questions on this video, feel free to comment down below or contact me. I will be glad to help. Definitely remember us at Hallmark Pool Supplies for all your pool needs. I also want to thank all my subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed, definitely do so for future content. I do appreciate you watching. My name is Mark, and I'll see you guys on the next video.